Hi, Mike here. Microsoft added a new feature to Excel recently, the ability to add a checkbox into a cell. Now, I know what you're thinking. Excel already has a checkbox feature, and yes, it does. But this new feature is an improvement. It offers more functionality, and it makes it easy to insert multiple checkboxes. At the moment, it's only available to people on the Beta Insider channel, but hopefully Microsoft will in time roll it out to everyone. There's plenty of use cases for this new feature, and I'm going to focus on one, how to create a checkbox driven filter on a dashboard. Here's a list of sales transactions for January to May for excellent ice cream. The data is stored in a table called sales. On a separate sheet, I have a partly completed dashboard. The dashboard contains four text boxes, two of which contain numbers. As I untick and tick these checkboxes here, you can see that it's updating automatically the total revenue and the number of orders for the selected locations. So how did I do it? Let me show you. To save time, I've already placed the text boxes on the spreadsheet. However, the two larger ones aren't connected to formulas. I'll do that later as part of the demo. I started by entering a formula into L7 on the dashboard sheet. The formula is using the sort function and the unique function to pick up a list of the unique values from the store column in the sales table and display them in alphabetical order. Column M, I'm going to leave blank. The checkboxes will go there later. And in column N, I'm going to enter a formula to calculate the total revenue for each store. What this formula is doing is adding up the numbers in the total revenue column in the table called sales, where the value in the store column matches what is in L7, L7 being a store location. Atlanta in this case. If I copy that formula down, it repeats the formula, but changes the store location. So that one is picking up what's in L8, that's picking up what's in L9, and so on. In column O, I need a formula to count the number of orders for each location. And that formula is the count ifs function. So what that's doing is counting the number of times the value in L7, Atlanta in this case, appears in the store column in the table called sales, which is the one on the sales data sheet. I will then copy that down and we have the same effect as we did in column N. It's looking at column L to pick up the criteria and counting the number of records or rows that match that criteria. So now to add the checkboxes, I'll select M7 to M13 and from the ribbon, click on Insert Checkbox over towards the right hand side of the ribbon. And what that does is it adds a checkbox to each selected cell. By the way, if you need to delete a checkbox, it seems that you can't just press the delete key. You've seen here, I've, that's what I've done. I've pressed the delete key, but it has left what they call a ghosted checkbox. You need to select the cell or cells with a checkbox in, go to the Home tab, click on clear and click on clear all. So let me put those checkboxes back in. Insert checkbox. In N14, I need the total revenue. And in O14, I need the total count. And these will be the cells that the text boxes connect to. But I only want the revenue and the count for the locations that are checked. When a checkbox is checked, the cell that contains the checkbox has a value of true. When it's unchecked, the cell has a value of false. You don't actually see the true false in the cell, it's behind the scenes. Having said that, if I gave this file to someone who has a version of Excel that doesn't support checkboxes, what would be displayed in the cells where the checkboxes are, are true and false. So I'll go back to N14 and enter the formula. What that formula is doing is adding up the numbers in N7 to N13, but only the ones where M7 to M13 are true. And I want a similar function in O14. 
So what that formula is doing is adding up the numbers in 07 to 013, but only the ones where M7 to M13 are true. So at the moment, none of the checkboxes are ticked. If I just tick a couple of checkboxes, you can see that it's updating the two cells with the formulas in. The next job is to connect the text boxes to the cells I just added the formulas to. So I'll go up to the first checkbox, click in the formula bar and type equals and click on N14 and press enter and click on the second checkbox, click in the formula bar and type equals and click on O14 and press enter. I'll test that now by ticking and unticking a couple of boxes. You can see that again, it's updating the formulas on row 14 and also updating the values in the two text boxes. I'll then need to format those two text boxes. Before I do that, I'm going to select N14 and I'm going to format that as currency. And that way the currency formatting will pull through to the uh, text box. I'll do a similar thing for the other text box, but this time I'm going to format the cell just to have a comma to separate any thousands and no decimal places. And then just format these, let's make them white font, bold, and let's say 32 points. And the same thing with this one, white font, bold, and 32 points. Finally, I'm going to hide columns N and O. We don't need those displayed. So just hide those two columns. And that's it. We have our checkbox driven filter on our dashboard. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.